and welcome to Easy Mathematics and a new video for CodeIgniter and the topic today is dynamic configurations in particular I want to talk about how to set the base URL dynamically and also how to look automatically for application and system folder okay so first what I want to do with you is we talk about the plan to understand what we really want to do then I demonstrate the results and then we talk about the details all right so what we want to do is to write a function get base URL and it returns the generated base URL with some magic and we will see that in detail and also for the system and application folder we want to write a function called get folder path with an argument to look for a certain folder uh, yeah and in the case of the system folder look for the folder system and application as well yeah? and it returns the path to the folder the, rel uh, the relative path and yeah we will see how this magic is going on okay and first i want to demonstrate this to you uh, here is the base URL. Normally, now the base URL we can set this um, hard coded, and the structure in this case is in the public folder there is the index, and outside of the index there is um, application and system folder. Okay, and if we if we set this hard coded. Uh, of course, we get the welcome to Code Igniter page. Okay. And what I want to do with you is to write a function, get base URL, and we see we get the start page. And the same for the application and system folder yeah. normally we can hard code it in our case the system and application is outside of the public here and here so we need these two dots okay and we see it Will go, uh, it will show the code igniter start page. Perfect. <coughs> and our function will take care of this automatically. Get folder path. Uh, and to, to demonstrate it, we can mm, first I show you the um, error. Uh, if we put the system folder outside of dynamic configs, for example, and we leave it like that, then we see we get an error. Okay. But with our function, we get the Cotignata start page. Here it is. Alright. Perfect. So, where's the system? Here. We put it back. And then we Perfect. Now we understand our goal. Yeah. 
everything will be done automatically and I want to talk about how we can do it even if we say uh, yeah we need um, we need here maybe I want one more folder public maybe index and we put this inside index Uh, we get the start page also. Everything is done automatically. Alright. And yeah, we will see. How this works. Perfect. Yeah, so first the dynamic base URL. Um, what we need, we need a couple of um, global variables. In particular, the dollar server. And what we need is, for this case, uh, the HTTP underline host, script underline name, and base name. Okay, and I will show you what all this stuff returns, and then it's clear how we can build it. So, the HTTP underline host is localhost, of course. The script name of the index.php is our folder dynamic config public, and the base name of script name is the file index.php but for our base URL we, we need this part this is here and we need this part for here so what we do is we re we remove from this part the base name to get this part and this is done by a replace function uh, we replace the script name by the base name and we have all the information what we need and all we have to do is to build it up uh, so we take the an HTTP host and we and we put Behind this, the string replace base name. And that's all for the base URL. Okay? Also, play around with that to understand in a, in a deep way. So, this is the base URL. Perfect. And the next step is to take care about the dynamic application and system folder. So, the first part I told you is to look for it under a certain condition, and the certain condition is we assume that system and application folder can be found easily by just going back, started from public. In other words, system and application is outside of the directory containing index.php without going through a new folder. Okay, so example the starting point from public is index. We look in the public folder for system and application. If it's if it can't be found, we go one step back and look. And later what we will do later is we look in public folder. If we cannot find it, we go one step back. If we can't find it, go through a folder and look then for it. Okay, but first we take care of the easy part. Okay. Yeah, how we can do this? I show you the get folder path 
function it is here first we give an argument of a folder it, this is um, for which folder we want to look here we take the read part of it uh, you can see the PHP documentation for real part uh, it returns the canonicalized absolute path name now you can check the PHP documentation by yourself and what we do is we check if this path exists and then we check if it's a directory so if it exists and if it's in a directory we return it and otherwise we go one step back and look for the folder by a recursive um, function call okay and the short form for this if as construct you can find here all right yeah and that's all that's all this is how it works for example we take the system in the public we see we still get the welcome to project matter start page here is it perfect Yeah, and the second way is for is uh, like I said, how to look through all the folders, and this is my task for you. Extend our function get folder path to search for a specific folder, and a couple of hints. I will put this link also in the description. And on GitHub, you find a nice recursive function call, which gives a tree view of your uh, folders and folder structure and as you know application and the system folder and expects a relative in Earl so it may be useful to think about a function path difference with argument from to and the separator and it calculates the difference in the relative in the relative uh, output and yeah, it's recommended if you're interested to improve your skills and of course you can think about uh, application folder and system folder by an absolute path and there is a hint the magic variable underline underline beard underline underline okay so you can check this by yourself yeah I hope you like this video mm. Have fun with it. See you next time. Uh, maybe the next time, uh, the next Cotic uh, Nighter video, uh, I'm thinking about to show you uh, how to plan a project in a proper way. Uh, yeah. So, see you next time. Bye bye.